Hey guys, it's Rudy with Creative Reloading Solutions. Uh, this is kind of a cool video for me because I get to introduce a new product uh, that I've been working on all summer long. Uh, this is the ultimate shot shell dismantler. But before we get into it, I want to tell you a story how this all came about. Uh, back in the fall, a guy gave me a flat of shells. Uh, he said his father had loaded them up years and years ago, and uh, he wasn't going to shoot them. He says, I don't know what's in them. I don't know what he loaded them for. He said, but you can have them. You can either shoot them up or you can cut them apart, you know, with primers being the way they are. He said, you can take whatever you want out of the shells and throw the rest away. So I took a couple boxes out of the flat and I took them to the skeet range. And after shooting them, I realized, wow, these things are pretty hot. And I did not plan to use them uh, to shoot skeet with. Uh, I figured they were probably loaded for the 25-yard line or maybe the 27-yard line. But anyways, the next time I saw my buddy, I said, uh, I'm probably going to cut those other eight boxes up and just scavenge the you know components out of them. And he handed me this. He said, well, if you can figure out how to get a blade in this thing, he said, you're going to need this to cut them all apart. And I said, wow. I said, it's ugly. It doesn't look very user friendly. I'll probably have to take a course in geometry to get a blade in there. And on the back, it says made in China. Well, I said, is there any other options? He said, of course there is. He goes, you like to play in the wood shop? He said, make one that is user friendly, that's nice looking, that's made in the USA and that somebody would be proud to have hanging in their reloading bench. So I said, okay. I thought about it for a while, but I couldn't figure out if I wanted to make it out of metal or if I wanted to make it out of wood. And then I decided to make it out of both. So without further ado, uh, this is the ultimate shot shell dismantler. Uh, let's talk about something that looks good. I mean, this thing is really a nice looking tool. It has five coats of paint on it. I have uh, one primer, I have two base, and I have two coats of clear on top of that. It's got this nice uh, leather bound uh, holder on the back. Uh, it has a hanging holder here, a leather hanging holder. It has a blade housing on it uh, that takes a number 11 exacto blade with my little warning label there, sharp edge. And I use the low profile hinges on it instead of the great big hinges they use on the, uh, on the competitor's model. Now let's talk about the user friendly. If you remove this band on the back here, well guess what? This is spring loaded. As you can see, it's always open ready to take a shell. And once you put the band back on, now that's where your hanger comes in. Uh, because uh, the spring loaded had to stop somewhere and it's the leather band that stops uh, the spring from opening up more than what it does. Let's take a look at the blade housing. Uh, there's three adjustments on the blade housing. There's a low, medium, and there's a high. And it doesn't take three screws to change the blade. It doesn't even take two. It takes one screw. You move, remove that one screw, you drop the number 11 X-Acto blade out of there, you shove the new one back up in there, and you tighten it back down to whatever height you want it to be at. And now you got yourself uh, a blade installed in a matter of, of a minute or so. It doesn't take very long. And it's not a Phillips screw. It's an Allen head screw. So you don't have to worry about rounding the edges out or anything like that. It's an Allen head screw. So let's uh, try cutting a few uh, with this thing. Here's uh, some 12 gauge we're going to cut. You just stick them in there and you close it up. And you're going to want to spin the cutter clockwise while holding on to the shell. And it's just that quick. It just slices right through there that quick. So if you've got a flat of shells or even if you've got a box of shells and you want to go through them, it only takes one turn. You'll hear it click on the turn. You'll hear that snap into place and that's it. Your shells are in half. Now you can save all your components, all your wads, whatever. When you're done. You throw your uh, leather binder uh, back on the back there, and now you can hang it up by your reloader bench. You don't want to throw it in with a bunch of junk and get it all banged up. Throw it in, uh, hang it up uh, on your reloader bench, and uh, you're good to go. Uh, if you look on the front here, it says 12 gauge, and it has my logo CRS on there. Uh, I have all the holes capped off with button caps. 
I mean, it's just really, uh, I really thought this out to my specifications for what I'd want to use. I have one in my shooting bag. It's the only dismantler that I would ever uh, use. So guys, I only made 40 of these over the summer. And when they're gone, they're gone. Unless uh, you guys demand more of them. Uh, if you want to uh, order one or if you want to pre-order one, just write into me. Uh, CreativeReloadingSolutions.com. Tell me that you want one before they're gone. Or if I run out of them, uh, tell me you want me to make more. And if that's the case, then I'm going to have to find an easier way to do it and maybe to get some help to help me do it. So this will be the ultimate shot shell dismantler on my website. Once again, it's CreativeReloadingSolutions.com. Uh, look for it and pick one up when you get a chance. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.